everyone. I went to, um, this is Tanya from Psycho Moms, and I went to a garage, um, Goodwill this afternoon, and I was so excited because I found this entire Ziploc bag full of black vintage lace, two bags of white vintage lace, and when I say a bag full, I'm talking probably 25 yards easily. Anyway, so I came home and had to make something out of it, and then I also found the silk that I made this rose out of. Um, I found... There's two yards of it for a dollar. So anyway, I was excited and had to come home and make these, so I thought I'd share with you how I made them today. And this is going to be just a really quick tutorial because I've got everything prepared where I've been making them, and I'll leave this one here for our sample. Um, what I did was I have the Tim Holtz die cut that has this look to it. I don't know what it's called because I don't have it with me, but um, I took it and ran it through my Xyron and the sticky side up, I layered this lace on top of it. So this is what I got. I was so excited. This is some of the lace that I got. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, so um, I make up tons of flowers whenever I get in the mode for making flowers so that whenever I'm ready for a project like this I can quickly whip them out so this is one that I've already made it's a lollipop flower and I'm gonna place it about probably about right there but for now I'm gonna put this out of the way and we're gonna make our postcard and to do that I have a um, Tim Holtz Ranger walnut ink and I am just going to take one of these little applicators and very lightly rub around this piece of paper. This is a piece of cardstock that was in my scrap pile and it measures three and a half by two and a quarter. Um, very close to business card size. It's a little bit bigger than a business card. But I'm very lightly running around the edges and just kind of giving it a little def definition. I want it to look old here so I'm being very gentle because I don't want the spirals to show up um, but I'm really around the edges I'm trying to get a really dark tone around these edges oops so then I'm gonna take the same walnut ink and I have this stamp that says postcard on it I got off of eBay I have no idea who makes it but I'm going to ink that really good with my walnut ink and very carefully place it off to the left side. I don't want it centered because I'm gonna put a faux stamp on there. So I'm happy with that. Now I also have these stamps that are cancellation postage cancellation stamps and I got these I think from Walmart um, but they have all kinds of different cancellation sayings on them and the one I'm going to use it says remember this day so I'm going to put it on here and ink it up really good with the same walnut ink and just stamp it right there and it's very light but it does say remember this moment remember this or remember this day remember this day and then with the same um, one of the cancellations that came off the same stamp set I'm going to take my aged mahogany stamp pad and go over it so it's a red color. So it's kind of canceling it out in red. Now, taking my walnut ink again, I'm going to take this postcard and fold it in half and just kind of crease it to the word postcard. Not all the way up, just to there. Then I'm going to take my ink pad and run it right around that, that crease. And that's going to give me that line that's in the center of a postcard. So we're done with the ink and put it away. Now on the back of this, I'm going to put some dimensional tape. Um, you could use glue dots if you have them. And I like to use yucky scissors when I cut this because I don't want to ruin my good scissors. But I'm going to just put that on here. And notice I'm shying a little bit away from the point here. Wrong side, but nah. Um, that's because this is going to hang over just a little bit, so I really want it to um, not have tape on it when it hangs over. And I'm going to find where I want my rose, maybe about right there. So I'm going to put my postcard 
maybe right there. And go ahead and glue it down. And now the the there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to make lollipop flowers. I am not going to go through how to do that. And there's plenty of them showing how to put the lace and the and all of this and putting the the pins and all that in it. I'm just not going to go through it. But all I'm going to do is stick and put a little bit of hot glue on the back of that. And I'm going to glue it right down on my tag. And let's see here. Maybe about right there. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Okay, now for time's sake, I went ahead and tied this itty bitty bow. Oops. On my postcard. Yay, it's coming together. Okay, now I have these itty bitty Prima roses that I got, and I think they kind of remind me a little bit of baby's breath, but I'm going to leave them white instead of coloring them in. And again, hot glue. And I'm going to put one here. And. one over here and I always try to do in sets of three and I think my third one I'm gonna put up there at the top right maybe right up there somewhere now I have this little guy and I've had these these are like tags and I've had these for centuries literally so um, I'm taking this jump ring, and of course this is, goes along with my challenge, my self-challenge, where you buy something new, you also have to use something old, so um, old would be huh, one of these little tags that I never thought I would use, to be honest with you. I have tons of them, but, um, and they're coming all different sizes and shapes, and the on the two examples that I showed you, I did wish and dream. So to do the jump ring, what I did was you separate it by pushing it from top to bottom, and then that just leaves a little gap. You, Hook your hope, word hope on there. And then on my vintage flower, I have this little thing of pearls here. So I'm just gonna put that hope right there and close that tag up. Now, I don't want it flopping all around, so I'm too much of a control freak for that. So I'm gonna decide where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna put just a dab of hot glue on the back of it so it stays where I want it to stay. You could certainly leave it alone, but I don't want it flopping all around. Then we're on to our um, pearl, our little rhinestones. So what I'm going to do is I kind of already know where I want mine positioned, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of glue in each location. And then, I don't know if you have one of these tools or not. Let me put a big one here in the center. And remember, if this glue globs out around the edges of the stones, don't worry about it because it will dry clear. I don't know if you have one of these tools or not, but this is called a quick stick, and it's made by Quick Cuts, and I found it at my local scrapbook store. I've never seen it anywhere else, ever. But if you don't own one of these, seek them out, find them, and buy one. They were like 6 or $7, but... It's got a little gummy eraser type end down here at this end, and it's great for picking up little tiny stones like this. So for all you bead people, you may want one of these big time. Then on this other side, it has a flat chisel end, and then it also, when you pull it out, has a poker end. Now watch what happens. Take the poker end and take the bead, the bead that's down on the sticky so that it's the downside up. Lay it on your glue, take your poker end, and pull it off. Well, I say that, but I let it sit on there too long. Okay, then take your little chisel in and kind of press it down. Seriously, how cool is that? Grab it up, put it down. This is great for counting beads if you count them or sort them. I can't live without this tool. It is one of my must-haves, and especially for itty-bitty paper piecing and beads and rhinestones. I mean, who'd have thought? 
something this simple would make me happy. Yay, and our tag is done. Look at how beautiful it is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and please leave me a comment. I enjoy reading all of your comments, and um, let me know if uh, you ever want to do a tag swap. It would be great. I would love to. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.